My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. And it was in this field that I came upon a clue which has enabled me to help millions of people to find their earthly destinies. I want to describe my discovery in the simplest terms possible because it will reveal to you why it is true that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve, regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things. You're getting off first, yeah. or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. That's just, I just believe that. I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. Everything starts with a vision, roadmap, goals, destiny. How many of y'all got goals? How many of y'all got a roadmap laid down? How many of you know where you're going in one year, five years, 10 years, and a step-by-step -step program to get there? My mom would always say to me, don't worry about what it look like right now. You got to see yourself down the road. I know it's tough that we live in a neighborhood, but start going online and seeing what it look like down the road. So no matter what you're seeing right now, you stay focused on the prize. Now let me give you an example of what I mean. My mom dropped me off in college. The first thing I did was this. I came, tore out a sheet of paper, I sat down and I wrote. I said, what do I want to do in college? What do I want to accomplish in college? I started writing it down. All American, all conference, dean's list, graduated in four years, master's degree, NFL, four or five in the 40. So I took that piece of paper, Take it on the side of my bed, and every morning I will visit my future, and every night I visit my future. Now, here's the funny thing. My teammates saw that for the first time. They couldn't stop laughing. This skinny guy, and you think you're going to accomplish all that? We know what we call that, right? Dream killers. Dream killers will come in the form of alcohol, in the form of drugs, in the form of bad attitude, in the form you think you know it all. It'll stop a dream in a heartbeat. But I didn't let that bother me. I saved the course. And slowly but surely, here come all conference. Here come Dean's list. Here come four or five in the 40. Here come a phone call from the Philadelphia Eagles. Vision, that's the power of a vision. The problem with most people, the problem with most people is that you're not obsessed with improvement. You're obsessed with making money. You're obsessed with taking your business to the next level. And can I be honest with you guys? When you become obsessed with improvement, I will spend more time learning in Australia than I will speaking. I'm gonna say it again because you missed it. I will spend more time sitting under people. I will spend more time learning than I will speaking in this country. I will walk away with stuff I never heard before, books I've never read before, audios I've never seen before, going to conferences that I've never gone, hanging out with people that I've never hung out with before. This is nothing, guys. This is just the dessert. Me speaking is just a dessert. This is just the beginning. I came to Australia to learn. I came to Australia to get an upgrade. And when I go back, my wife will notice a difference. My kids will know a difference. Why? I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones. And every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology and you've not upgraded yourself. You got the same operating system you had since 1995. You don't think any different, you don't speak any different. You're the exact same person you were in 2010.